Hello all, my name is Krishna Ayak and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, uh, I'm going to start a playlist uh, specifically to databases. I'm going to discuss about how you can connect to various databases with the help of Python programming language. What are the libraries we'll specifically use? The name of the databases that I like to take is MongoDB. I've already created a playlist on that. MySQL, we have PostgreSQL, uh, we have SQLite, we have uh, S3 Bucket, you know, uh, S3 Bucket, which is present in Amazon uh, AWS, right? That also will try to use. Uh, apart from that, um, did I forget any databases as such? Okay, you can mention all the databases that you want, but this specific playlist will be with respect to databases. And the pattern will be something like this. If you if you have seen my MongoDB uh, playlist, so the pattern was that I'll try to show you how you can do the installation in your local machine. Um, then how do you connect to that with the help of uh, uh, Python DB connector? Apart from that, like in, in MongoDB, I'll say that we had used PyMongo, right? So that was the library we installed it. Now, in the case of, uh, and uh, after that, I'll also try to show you some of the very complex queries. So there, I showed you how you can do the insert, how you can solve all the complex crude operation apart from the query part. I'd actually solved that. And probably I've created five videos on MongoDB. Now, similarly, I'll be continuing with respect to all the databases that we have, which are compatible with Python uh, programming language, where we can connect to them. Because this was the major concern for many people, you know, they wanted to work with different, different databases, have some good amount of information. So with respect to this, uh, in today's video, I'm starting with MySQL. Uh, again, in MySQL also, we'll have around five to six videos. Then again, we'll go to Cassandra. Oh, I missed Cassandra, yes. So Cassandra DB also I'll be taking, I'll be taking SQLite and uh, I'll be also taking S3 bucket. In S3 bucket, if you remember, the library that we use is something called as Boto3, right? So these are all kind of libraries we'll be using so that you'll get an idea about different databases and how do you actually work with that. But today videos, we are going to start with MySQL. So in order to download, first of all, installation of MySQL. So what I'm going to do is that I'll just search for MySQL download for Windows 10 and uh, probably I'm also doing the first time installation right now in my workstation. So, uh, okay, there are two options of 32 bits over here. One is 24.5 MB, one is 427.6. I'll definitely go with this because I will be getting more options. Now here, uh, you're getting an option where it says that you can also log in using your Oracle web account because if you really want all these things. Right now, I'm not that interested, so I'll just say no thanks, just start my download. Uh, quickly, it'll get downloaded. And if you don't know about MySQL, guys, it is the most used databases right now uh, and many companies use it, you know, uh, it is amazing uh, database uh, as you know that it follows an RDBMS structure this, that is relational database management system. So this installation is gone. I will just execute this. Let's see. Uh, I don't know if I face any problem. Let's see with respect to the installation. We'll learn together. Okay. Now, first thing. Uh, de developer default server only client only full custom. So first of all, we'll select with developer default. Uh, we'll try to see what all things we'll get in a developer things. Uh, other things when I'll be doing with respect to the web part, in, sorry, in the cloud, when I'm actually putting this particular server, when I'm creating this server or this database, sorry, not server database. At that time, we'll discuss about various options over there. Uh, I'll select next. Uh, okay. It says. Is it empty? Okay, let me just remove this. Okay, I think now it's fine. Right? You still have warnings you have selected. Are you sure you want to continue? Ooh, okay, let's see. So I'm just going to open this. How did I get this path? I've never installed it. Okay. Okay, I'll go over here and I'll try to see. Uh, and uh, MySQL server. Okay, now it's fine. I'll go with next. Then I will be selecting this. Okay, I, I need not select this also, but let's see. By default, we'll try to select this. You'll get this kind of warning saying that this, this product with the missing requirements will not be installed or upgraded. It's fine. I'll just try to continue. So these are the, all the things that will get connected, guys. So you can see that probably I'll not require connector with C++ or .NET or Python. Uh, I'll just require with Python, right? So let me just, just do the installation for the whole thing since I've installed uh, installing the whole whole tool itself, right? MySQL. 
So this will probably take uh, two minutes, I guess, uh, as the speeds you can see with respect to the speed. But uh, I'll just let me remind you what all things we actually have. <coughs> First of all, uh, we are installing MySQL server. So this definitely everybody knows. Then MySQL workbench basically means that suppose uh, you want to write some kind of queries with respect to your SQL server, you can actually do it over here. Then you have MySQL notifier, MySQL for Visual Studio 1.2.9. The most important thing that we require is MySQL documentation, sample and examples and connector slash Python. Okay. So these things uh, we require, but you can see the installation is happening very quickly. I'll also show you that how you can actually create your own user and password with respect to this. Uh, till then, I'll think that we'll wait uh, till this whole execution gets on. But uh, understand one thing, guys. Uh, it is important that in companies, you can they can use any kind of DBs, right? And you should know at least how to connect to that particular DB, how you can actually perform some crude operations, right? So with respect to that, it is very, very important. So that is the reason why many people had actually requested me to for creating this specific playlist. So yes, uh, I'll just fast forward this so, so that uh, the execution will get completed quickly. Okay. So guys, you can see over here, the installation of all these particular products has been completed. So we will go to the next step. So here you can see, uh, again, we can just directly select next. Now we are going to this high availability, high availability zone. And in this guys, uh, we don't want any DB clusters right now. Probably when we are doing this in cloud, we may require right now. I'm just want to a uh, standalone MySQL server. So I'm just going to select this. You can see that by default, you'll be assigned a port of 3306. So yes. Uh, so this particular port will be working on because uh, whenever you really require to connect to a MySQL server, you really have to give the local host or an IP address along with the port number, right? So this particular port number which actually help you to connect to that specific DB. Now out of this guys authentication method, right? Uh, you have something like use strong password encryption for authentication, use legacy authentication method. Right now I'll be selecting this uh, because uh, when I'll be using some libraries to connect to MySQL at that time, we I faced some kind of issues, you know, when I was actually working uh, some some few months back. Okay, and uh, in order to solve that, I had to use this legacy authentication. I'll try to tell you that particular error what I had actually faced when I'm doing the practical application. So please make sure that you select this. Okay, don't select this. Uh, this should be selected when you are actually working in the cloud. Okay, now I'll be selecting next. Now you can see that my SQL root password. I'll just select one, two, three, four, five one two three four five i'll just select this uh it says weak it's okay i don't care <laughs> uh anyhow that is not in my local so sorry not in the cloud uh not in the server so here i'm also creating one additional user like uh, krish and apart from that i will also write one two three four five or uh, one two three four five so i'll say okay uh, this looks fine krish is i mean added and i'll go to the next now this will be the service that will be running in your services itself uh, you can also change the name if you want this will be your windows service name that basically means in order to run the mysql in your local machine this service will be running continuously in the back back end you will be able to see this in your uh, services uh, side you know so if if you go and search for services over here right so inside the services you'll be able to see like if i give an example of mongodb right so if i go and see search for mongodb mongodb is always running now if i try to install this then this will also be uh it'll be running in the back end now when i select execute make sure that this all steps are executed correctly if it does not get executed correctly that basically means you really have messed up your installation uh, probably i may also face this particular issue let's see Okay, now it's it has shown that yes, you can see that new service added to the monitor list MySQL uh, 80. Now, if I go over here and if I if I uh, close this, okay, let me just go and select services. Probably, I'll be able to see MySQL services running somewhere. Okay, uh, let me see. See, MySQL 80 services actually running. Okay, so this is where I actually wanted to show you. Now, after this, this is done. You just do finish, right? And then you select next in the product configuration. 
if you really want to test the connection uh you can actually test it but i really don't want to do it with respect to router connection configuration right now but to test your connection also i'll show you when you do next next you just write one two three four over here uh to check the password if you go and check it okay it says connection failed because i wrote wrong password right my password was one two three four five if i write one two three four it will give me error okay over here if i write five it will give me correct now over here if i use my user that i created krish and one two three four it'll give me an error if i use one two three four five it'll give me connection succeeded okay now i will just go select next and execute it okay so all this execution should happen perfectly so that you'll be able to do it perfectly okay now the next thing that i'm going to do guys over here okay one database is were processed for migration okay i really don't want to see it this right now now uh this you can see over here this is done i'll be finishing it okay still i have some steps let's finish this okay so this is got executed you can see and this is the mysql workbench okay now oh, when i click this okay sorry i will go and click on databases connect to databases and this will be my local instance you can see local host 3306 username root a uh, password is already stored over here so i'm going to select okay 12345 is my password now here you can see this one now by default i have show databases uh, you can also write your own command with respect to this i hope it is visible guys show databases now if i try to execute this in order to execute it i'll just select query execute all you'll be able to see that these are all the default databases that is actually present okay obviously if you really want to create databases it will be like create database uh, crash okay i hope it works it works fine right now if i try to execute the show database again show databases and if i execute it you will be able to see that crash is also added okay now this is with respect to this i also want to make sure that uh, in the upcoming videos you know this was the basic installation now you can create your tables create your databases do all the kind of operations do whatever you want but again now main aim is basically to <clears throat> execute with the help of a python code so with the help of the python code i'll show you in my second tutorial after this but i hope you understood it i hope you liked it uh, please do let me know whether you face any kind of issues while installing mysql uh, will i'll try to reply back in the comment but i think uh, you can also explore try to explore things and yes guys uh, this was all about this particular video in the second video i will try to show you that what all drivers will try to re will require when we are uh, trying to connect to the mysql from the python programming language and uh, the library that will be requiring is something called as mysql connector python which will try to install it in my next video in front of you then i'll try to show you how you can create a database how you can create tables how you can query columns how, sorry how you can query from the table how you can do perform more complex operation so again it will be around 4 to 5 videos with respect to this after we complete this we'll move to cassandra right so uh, i hope you like this particular video please do subscribe the channel if you're not already subscribed i'll see you in the next video have a great day thank you one and all bye bye